Okay, fine. I'll admit it. I want to be like Dabin. Not only is he a force in the melodic dubstep and future bass scene, his shows are also incredible, genre-bending spectacles incorporating live guitar, synths, drum pads, which he brought to the road on his Sanctuary Tour, boasting multiple sold-out dates, including one in my hometown, which is also his hometown? And wait a second, is that the highly competitive multiplayer shooter by indie game studio Riot Games? Just like me, for real, for real. Are you brain dead? You peak silver three, my guy? Dabin's actually immortal. Wait, shush. So, maybe if I make music like Dabin, then I hit immortal. I play a ride event, like him. <laughs> anyway, what I'm trying to say is... After binging a bunch of Dabin's live sets, I can confidently say he uses a guitar. So let's start there. No wait, that's too fast. Slow the BPM to 146 for maximum emotion. For more feeling, some long vocal notes. and vocal chops, because that's also emotional. To add a bit more texture, I took this bell sample and slowed it down. I also auto panned it for some rhythm. Next, I wanted to complement this guitar with something. So on a Rhodes, I played this progression. Copy and paste that onto a piano. And a sad pad. And one more time, but this time on a windy pad, I made this using Serum, using a triangle wave, some grain delay, amp, and I EQ'd it like crazy to focus in on the sadness. I mean, these specific frequencies. Copy the root note of the progression onto a wobbly respace that I stole from this guy's liquid drum and bass song. And on top of all of that, a piano to foreshadow the drop melody. I also notice in his sets he's got live drummers, so let's keep him busy up there. Simple drum pattern. Plus a hi-hat loop. At least two garage percussions to put on the backing track. For that last bit of texture, you generally find something like rain to set the mood. But if you're smart like me, you'll actually use something that cuts through the mix a little bit better. All together. Now, with all of these pieces in place, we can easily turn this into a highly emotional drop, but it would be silly to just dry peek. So we gotta give our listeners the info so we can tactically hit the site. I mean, the drop. If only there was a term for that. All we really have to do is copy paste and add a clap. Build up kick. And it wouldn't be melodic future based dubstep without the smooth female vocalist. Can I ask you, was it something I did? No shot. 
simply ignore the trolls and pair that with an emo drum fill that's not really doing a fill and just eighth notes. And that just leads us to a pre-drop. So, telephone vocal filter on a guitar. Then, just pitch up and glitch the vocal. And all together... As an expert of melodic future based dubstep, you said it, not me, I've assembled all the parts I need to make a hard hitting, no, heart hitting, emotional. Hi, Actual Ash and Producer Mode here, uh, working on some tunes. You've been seeing me post clips on my Instagram, the music kind, not the Valorant ones. And then you start seeing those clips popping up on Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, uh, all of those places. It's all thanks to longtime friend of the channel and sponsor of this video, DistroKid. With DistroKid, I'm able to upload all the music I've been working on to all of the streaming platforms out there. And since you watch my videos, you can do that too. When you're ready to release your music, use DistroKid to get your songs out into the world. For only $23 a year, you can upload an unlimited amount of songs to those platforms, especially if you're scared of those record deals that steal everything you own. With DistroKid, you keep 100% of your royalties and more importantly, ownership of your masters. There's also a ton of bonus features that are included with your subscription that'll help polish and promote your songs, but I'm a have to talk about those another time. So sign up through DistroKid right now and you can get 7% off the first year with my VIP link. It's just down below. As always, thank you to DistroKid for sponsoring this video and thank you for staying so long during this buildup that will now easily transition into. You gotta make sure all the ravers can sway with their rave bays. So keep the drum beat simple. That means kicks and snares in this pattern. Constant hi-hats. Crash on every beat. And rides on every other beat. <laughs> That's it. Now I needed to add some drive and feel to these drums. So I brought over the ascending chord progression from the intro and put it onto a mono saw. Most people use serum for this, but I've graduated to Ableton's wavetable because I'm lazy. Feel free to pause and copy the settings below. If you noticed I've side chained it to the drums and switched the rhythm a bit to match them more. Adding a gap. Mostly where all the snare hits. Okay, maybe like 80% of the time, but still. I also moved a few of the first hits forward so you get that little delay kick chord thingy. You know, the... Plus a sneaky little duck automation for a few rhythmic flares. Most importantly, deleting the bass notes. As for the layers, in addition to this mono saw, two chaos saws, also made with wavetable. One pan to the left, and one pan to the right. What's a chaos saw, you might ask? Watch any of my other melodic dubstep videos to find out. Since I'm over super saws, a super square. And a secret, non-detuned sine wave. Each of these layers are OTT'd and EQ'd according to their place in the song. Now these saw stacks by themselves are pretty thin and wouldn't be complete without the mid-range bass to carry it. So I added a chunky bass with OTT and corpus on the kick tight setting. 
layer that in with a buzzy one. The traditional poop saw. Poop saw guarantees thickness. And another secret tonal layer to push the notes forward. Oh, and never, ever forget the sub. Add in a few bass one shots for flair. Some more vocal chops. And uh, playing this all with the saws and the drums, started crying for real, for real. What? No way this guy forgets electric guitar on the Dabin tutorial. And I think by this point I've forgotten what Dabin actually does during his live sets. And going back and watching, he's um he's definitely playing an electric guitar. Like... But it seems like my combination of saw stacks and basses drown out the guitar. Actual skill issue, no cap. Ahem. What's not a skill issue is my melody writing, okay? That's right, the same melody from the intro made easily with serum on a whistly lead to fit perfectly in the drop. But no, not just that, add in a vocally synth to layer two. A plucky koto. And the meat of the sound, <laughs> in it patch, but detuned a bunch. Also run that baby through amp and cabinet and reverb the heck out of it. Of course, we gotta have the piano. Still don't know what any of these symbols mean. Labs, help! And the Glock, cause it's got the best skin in the game. And if you want to learn how to make melodies like this, one tap that subscribe button and I'll make a video on it. All together. actually real you want to be like dabbing your throw and bruh actually so slow speed the song up to like 160 my guy okay yeah true let's uh let's make it faster no shot that's the melody you pick is so boring not even trolling i hear like two notes need at least five a's uh yeah screw this melody more like peaked bronze three in ableton bruh might as well lower that layer a third you'll get some real threes why are you talking like that Wait, you're saying lower this thirds? Also, what's that vocal, you clown? No shot, you just use the same future bass vocal girl as everybody else. No, yeah, not even trolling. Fine, whatever. I'll do my own vocal, but it's gonna be a cover because I'm lazy. I swear this game has rotten my brain. <laughs> But even though the voice in my head is telling me to stop trolling because it's not exactly like Dabin, I'm actually happy making these changes. Because then it's a little less Dabin and a little bit more me. And I think that's more important. I want to be like Dabin. And you should too. Because he's unapologetically himself. Because while actual bots complain about just hearing a more generic future bass, you'll be the one actually making the change that you want to see in the world by embracing everything about whatever it is that defines you, and by incorporating that into your music and your sound, you'll be just like Dabin too, or whoever you're inspired by. Now go make some bangers. <laughs>